Hello all and welcome to another video from Ms. Robbie's Classroom. I'm your teacher advisor, Ms. Robbie, and today we will have another video on the series of the self-learning help task, which are the second part of in English Sub. For this script, you will need your English Sub and Home Task, so this is a bond paper for your outputs and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. Remember to work on your own. No problem in asking for help from others as long as you did all the work. So our goals at the end of this book is that you'll be able to use an analogy to describe or make a point. And so with that, let's talk about using an analogy to make a point. Let's do a short review on analogy. An analogy shows the similarities and relationships between pairs of words. Its ultimate goal is to make a point about this comparison. Completing or solving analogies helps develop critical thinking skills. Analogies are used all the time in formal conversations. Comparing one situation to another, analogy is used. Life is a box of chocolate is a simile that also compares analogous ideas. Uncertainty and variety in life experiences are the same in a box of chocolates. Analogy is a form of word relationships that demonstrate the association between two objects or concept pairs on the basis of logic or reasoning. The phrasing for these analogies is generally first word is to the second word as the third word is to the fourth word. Example, baby is to an adult as kitten is to cat. Here are some common examples of verbal analogies. Blue is to color as circle is to shape. Eyes is to sight as fingers is to touch. Cub is to bear as calf is to cow. Sand is to beach as water is to ocean. Glove is to hand as sock is to foot. Ripple is to pond as wave is to ocean. Words is to writing as notes is to music. Fish is to aquarium as animals is to zoo. Fingers is to snapping as hands is to cut. And petal is to flower as leaf is to tree. There are many types of analogy synonym, antonym, cause and effect, part to whole, object and classification or relationship or function, performer and results or action, time, location, source and product, and pair. Let's apply what you just learned by doing some exercises. Go to page 2 to 3 of your own test. Complete each analogy by choosing the correct word from the choices. Like number 1. Eyes is to see, as nose is to blank. A touch, B smell, C taste, D hear. Correct answer would be smell. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go. Checking time, let's see if you were able to answer correctly. Check your own answers. Go back to page 2 for exercise 1. Complete each analogy by choosing the correct word from the choices. Number 1. Eyes is to see, as nose is to smell. Life is to light, as fossil is to water. Blanket is to soft, as floor is to heart. Bass are to caves, as human are to houses. Allow is to permit, as fine is to locate. Clock is to time, as thermometer is to temperature. Manila is to footprints, as to is to Japan. Darkness is to dark, as heaviness is to heavy. Water is to liquid, as ice is to solid. Number 10. Tired is to sleep, as hungry is to For exercise 2, 
read the analogies below and determine the type as expressed by the pair of words. Then explain briefly the point of each. Example Bird is to fly as fish is to swim. Their relationship is performer and its action. The bird is the performer of the action fly and fish is the performer of the action swim. Another example is trees to leaf as flowers to petal. Their relationship is object and part of the whole. The part of a tree is a leaf and part of the flower is a petal. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! It's checking time. Let's see if you are able to answer correctly. Check your own answers. For number one, deep is to shallow as harsh is to gentle. The relationship is antonyms or opposite words. Deep is the antonym of shallow and harsh is the antonym of gentle. Number two, leaves is to tree as sand is to sea. The relationship is part to whole. Leaves are part of the tree and sand is part of the sea. Number three, volcanic eruption is to earthquake as El Nino is to drought. The relationship is cause and effect. Volcanic eruptions can cause earthquakes and El Nino can cause drought. Pilot is to earthquake as priest is to church. Relationship is performer and result of action. Pilot handles an airplane and a priest handles a church. Elegant is to luxurious as shiny is to bright. The relationship is synonymous. Elegant is synonymous to luxurious and shiny is synonymous to bright. Assessment time. Go to page 3 to 4. Choose the correct explanation or description expressed in each of the analogies below. Example, scientists is to laboratory as returns to kitchen. Is it A? A scientist uses laboratory and returns as a kitchen. Is it B? A scientist owns a laboratory and a return to kitchen. C. A scientist works in a laboratory and a return to the kitchen. D. A scientist is the opposite of laboratory. Correct answer is number C. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! It's checking time. Let's see if you're able to answer C. Check your own answers. Number 1. Skillful is to expert as industrious is to hard. Correct answer is number D. Skillful has the same meaning as expert, and industrious has the same meaning. Number two, weak is too strong as rejoice is too worn. Correct answer is letter B. Weak is the opposite of strong and rejoice is the opposite of worn. Number three, tailor is to noodle as author is to pen. Correct answer is letter A. A tailor uses a noodle and an author uses a pen. Number four, lion is to roar as frog is to croak. The correct answer is letter A. A lion likes to roar and a frog likes to croak. Number 5. A room is to house as chapter is to books. The correct answer is letter B. A room is part of the house, a chapter is part of the book. Enrichment activity. Read the analogies below and explain the point they make. Number 1. Raising children. Is like garden. Nurture them and be patient. Number two. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you will get. Submit your self learning home tasks to your teacher or children. Now you're all set for lesson seven. Until next time, this is your teacher advisor, Miss Robin. Happy studying, guys!